You know, in all of our electrical installation lessons, we have you using these grounding bushings or bonding bushings. And they might be a little bit mysterious to some people, so I want to talk about it for a second. The key purpose of a grounding bushing or bonding bushing is that it makes a hard ground to the conduit that's connecting into an enclosure. The collar screws down onto the threads of the conduit connector or the conduit nipple. And there's this set screw that you'd tighten that actually screws it right into the side of the conduit threads to make a good connection. And then here's the magic. You take the ground wire and you strip away, I don't know, half an inch or so of insulation that leaves the bare copper in there. And you place it inside the lug and fasten the set screw. And the lug hard connects that ground wire to the bonding bushing. Here's just another example, just showing the same kind of uh, operation, just so you see it's always done the same. The collar is screwed down onto the conduit threads, and then the ground wire comes up and in and around. It's stripped away, and it's secured by that set screw. And I just wanted to show you a short snippet here that shows how that stripped ground wire can be inserted into that ground lug, and then you tighten up that set screw, and that's what secures that grounding wire into the lug and makes the grounding bushing or the bonding bushing work. Your local jurisdiction may have their own specific rules about where and when to use grounding bushings or bonding bushings, but I just wanted to show you a little bit more about how they fit into the system and how you wire them up. Hey, thanks for watching the training video using Interplay's simulation based training program. You can keep watching our solar videos by clicking on the link to your left or stay up to date on our latest solar snacks by subscribing on your right. To learn more about how the STP provides critical team training and helps you build an onboarding program at your company, please go to interplaylearning.com.